We got conspiracy stuff, UFOs, aliens. Drop a thumbs up. Let's get into it. I'm high for this one. If you stop to think about it, there's still a lot that we don't know about our world. Mm. There's loads of questions that I have and you must have too about things that, well, sometimes we wonder if they existed at some point in time. Our ocean is an alien planet of its own. So much of it's unexplored, it's crazy. Like giants. Will we see something inside? Damn, that's creepy, Now, at right? first, questioning if giants ever existed may sound crazy, but it's not. For example, in 2004, paleontologists in China discovered giant fossil teeth in Barian Cave in BG that's a dude! Downey. In 1991, during an That's excavation good. at a necropolis in Rome, archaeologists found what's supposed to be a full skeleton of a giant humanoid being. And it doesn't stop there, the list goes on. The thing is, if giants existed or not, is still a debate amongst many. Some um, listen man, I, I heard stories like that when I was a kid, that there used to be, like, back in the days, when I say back in the days, like, a long time ago, like, a long, like, thousands of years, uh, there used to be people, like, real tall, real tall. I believe they did, some believe it's just a myth. But it's like one of those things, damn. My god, dude, the entire tree? He transported to another? What? However, a couple run, run, of weeks run, run, run. ago, Andrew Dawson uploaded a video to TikTok of what appears to be a giant humanoid walking on top of Canoe Mountain in Vale Mount, British Columbia. This is what he captured on camera. Bro, mountains are definitely crazy, right? Like, but I don't think they exist now. Or is maybe it? they do, but it's like... Person, dude. Thoughts? One, if you believe in stuff like that. Two, if not, I just want to know, like, how you feel. And it's completely fine to believe or not believe. But, but like, mountains, caves, that's, like, another alien planet. Like, so much of it is unexplored. And you hear, uh, you hear stories of stuff like that. And, you know, there's always, like, a tribal group. There's always people that are living in forest areas that you will never get to see and stuff. There's a whole lot of unexplored stuff in, in our world. Like, we're trying to explore the planets outside of our planet. But so much off of our own planet is unexplored. It's crazy. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. Is it moving? It's, it's a, a person giant. standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? <laughs> the video is a bit shaky due to the fact that Andy's friend did not want to stop to film it. It's very difficult to affirm if this is indeed a giant human walking on top of Canoe Mountain in British Columbia or if this is something else. However, there's something there for sure. Maybe it's a someone or maybe it's just a something. If we slow mo the video, it actually looks like it could be. When Andy uploaded this video, it amassed millions of views and hundreds of comments and internet users were divided. Some believe that this could be actually evidence of giants and others say that this is just an object or an antenna or something like that. However, if we look into the subject, there are other videos that were uploaded to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and many other social media platforms that actually show something very similar. We, we noticed that there's a pile of uh, a brush here. And as we look inside, we find Damn. out that something... Brad's getting eaten alive. Brad, let me... Climb out, come in. Let me get a look into this thing. Oh. I'm gonna let me walk around what? a little bit. First of all, some kind of creature has taken. Uh, I've actually watched a video not long ago from Mr. Ballin. He actually was describing a story of, a, I believe, a police officer that went into a forest and he actually noticed there was like a giant, like, big ape, Bigfoot, apparently, just knocking down trees and was trying to chase and, uh, yeah. And piled tons this reminded and tons me of, of that leaves story. and branches to either camouflage got inception music in the background classic or make a place to hide jim mills and a group of tourists deep in the woods find some sort of shelter of trees that were apparently snapped by force and not by any type of machine intrigued they start recording it all on camera and this is what happens next e e e this what happens next oh, well, this i get back we, to camp we see something moving on the hill above oh man quality so cool 
Where? 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 I'm down. trying to. Like right on the other, on the yeah. Side of it. Okay, this direction maybe. Uh, no, we'll it stopped and looking where? at us. Oh, okay, kind of nice. looking at us. Oh, Moving that's tall. Out. What appears to be a is very a large humanoid figure. Can okay, if, okay. at one point I was like, is it a tree that's kind of moving? But now it's... uh be seen climbing down Marble Mountains in Vietnam on June 2001. Oh, yeah, it's a man. Jim Mills Legs. was the leader at the time, and the entire group saw it and was baffled by what they were seeing. That's a big In 2020, man. a very similar video surfaced the internet, but this time in Cypher in India. I'm Pakistani, so I understand the language. Dude, to see something this big, because you're so far away, it's still tiny, but to be able to see something like that from a distance, it truly has to be big. Yeah, damn. In both these videos, Turn you can see off. what's supposed to be a tall humanoid being climbing down the mountain. And as you can see, people are stunned, they're baffled. Now taking into consideration the distance that both these people were from the top of the mountain, it's possible that we're looking at some sort of very tall human being. However, in Andrew's video, it's a bit difficult to affirm what it is exactly that we're looking at because the camera footage is too shaky. In your opinion, what do you think is really going on here? I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I know some of you will be like, yo, these mother truck are so tall, can a brother get like two inches donated to me, please? I wanna be tall now, too, at no? at some point in your lifetime, you've probably heard about skinwalkers. In the Navajo tradition, a skinwalker is a mythological creature that is able to shapeshift into or possess an animal. Skinwalkers are sometimes referred to... When he said Skinwalker, I was reminded of Skinwalker Ranch. I never heard about Skinwalker other than that. So I didn't know there was like a... Skinwalker is supposed to be like a person just uh, transforming. As witches. Oh my god. Uh-oh. The other one's right here. I don't see it. Maybe Wendigo! It's gonna... I'm in the... Did he say Forest Wendigo? Right now. Ow! Ow! It's going down. What? What? What's that? The foot is so shaky. That's probably a rabbit. Or a turtle. What? What the f was that? Stone. I don't know, but yeah, it's different. I know it. Oh! Oh yeah! Yeah! Run! 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 <laughs> run, run, run. The Navajo tradition goes back hundreds of years ago. And it was only in 1994 that the X-Files actually made it popular th through an episode called Shapes. From then on, people started talking about Skinwalker on Reddit, 4chan, YouTube, and the list goes on. Nowadays, it's a very popular topic, mainly amongst people who are hunting or camping in the woods. Now there's a number of reasons why people should not go camping or hunting all alone at night or in general, it's not a safe thing to do. Yeah. However, agree. there are experienced hunters or campers who prefer doing so all alone. I mean, there is some sort of people that do it. Uh, let me know if you do it or not, but I'm assuming people that do it, there's different kind of thrill that you may be getting. And that's that you're trying to chase that dragon. You're trying to chase that high. So I understand that. But but this is not the type of high you want to chase. Okay. And it's the case with different. abandoned 6.7 YouTube channel who one day decided to go hunting by himself deep in the woods. All alone in Augusta, West Virginia. And this West Virginia. Is what this is very bad. Very bad. Yeah, don't do it, man. Alone, all alone, especially. Hey guys, ban is 6.7 on today. But thankfully, I'm not here checking my daytime. camp. I ain't been here since the last video, was a day and a half ago. Something going through here, as you can see. All that work was in that little pile. And now it's over there. Something's been in here. Yeah, I don't see no foot tracks. So whatever it was, must have been small. You know what I'm saying? No, I know the what you're saying. Last time I encountered it was over in that tree line, which we watched my last video. It was terrifying. Basically, there ain't nothing I could have done to it, cause I only have a pocket knife. Abandoned 6.7 explains that he's been seeing and hearing things in those woods the past couple of days. This is when he apparently hears something once again, but this time he's able to capture it on camera. Check this out. And then we'll look for it. 
Capture on camera? What could it be though? The f I saw that? nothing. What the f was that? Okay, I need a slow down version. I saw nothing. What the f A bizarre and pale creature can be seen running very fast behind the tree lines just very close to Okay, maybe this? To abandon 6.7. Yeah, very hard it's as to if make this out. This thing, but... whatever it is, was watching him all along. Now, after watching this video a couple of times, it seems to me that this could be someone crouching and running. But I'm not too sure. This thing, whatever it is, it's too pale and it's too fast. And as you can see, it almost makes no noise. Oh. Yeah, okay, now I see it. Now I see it. Yes. What the and after watching the video over and over, it kind of reminds me of the same mysterious creature that appeared in a tsunami in Japan. What? Internet users in his comment section seem to be- That was a clot, no? Divided. Some believe that this is an actual skinwalker, and others say it's maybe a dog or something else. <laughs> might be a, might be a opinion, chihuahua, man. What do you think is going on here? Is this a legit encounter with a skinwalker? Might be a chihuahua, might be a chihuahua. And what would you have done if you were in his situation? I would not be saying, what the I'm what the now, if there's I would one just unsolved mystery skirt. on our world, that would be ancient Egypt. Questions like, how were the pyramids built? Who yeah. built them? And why do these... Who do you think built them, actually? Like, people, were they uh, were helped by other... When I say other, like, extraterrestrial, because that's kind of like the theories and whatnot that we couldn't... Even to this day, the technology that we have, it's gonna be very hard to make them. And if not, we cannot make them the way they are. We can make a lot of things, but not the way they were made. Uh, Gods that are depicted look like they're not human. It's a lot of questions. The thing is, on December 2019, several videos of what's supposed to be a pharaonic stone surfaced the internet and became a viral sensation. Many people were talking about these stones that were capable of things that are not normal. At the time, I featured some of these videos on my YouTube channel of this same pharaonic stone. What? However, recently... What, what was that? What was that? Did you see this? Look the mirror and her I hand. I featured some of these videos. You see the skeleton, like, is... What? So instead of... You don't see her hand, you see the skeleton. On my YouTube channel. Okay, what the heck is that, bro? What's that? Of this same pharaonic stone. What's that? And, however, recently... Will he actually talk about it or not? More of these stones have been showing up. And it seems that there's some sort of explanation to it. Here, for example, is one of the first videos that went viral of such an object. Oh my god, there's some something inside it. I remember as a kid, I've done like, I've taken a magnet and I and I held it towards the TV monitor and the entire TV actually went bad. I did that just for a second or two and, uh, and you should not do that. Like, and, and I'm talking about like those fat mother triggers, like the fat TVs. Most of you don't even remember. I'm sure that never tried because... Turns on the light. So the light will go off now, I'm assuming. Damn. That's like, you know, Dumbledore, uh, Harry Potter, Dumbledore, you know, when Dumbledore gave, uh, used to like go with this, used to take the lights. I forgot the name of that thing. If you watch the movie, you know what I mean, right? In this video, the man starts by showing that the rock seems to interfere with electricity in general. Then he proceeds to show us a mirror in which the rock does not reflect itself into. What? Yeah, previously you were seeing the, the skeleton. What? No way, dude. That's a fake mirror. I'm blowing that mirror. No, 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 no. That's trippy, dog. He then finally takes the rock to a bucket of water, but before he reads what appears to be some sort of instruction, he then drops the rock into the bucket of water and the water somehow boils by itself. Is that real?
The thing is, know, many internet users were saying that these videos are fake. However, more and more of these videos kept popping up every week. This, for example, is another video, but this time things are a bit different. Um, is it videos from different people, different stones? If so, then, you know, because if it's just one off thing, if you're hearing just one person talking about it, then it can be fake. But if it's like hundreds and hundreds of people doing the same thing or talking about the same thing, then it might be true. I'm not saying because sometimes what happens is that one person hears, they tell other people and then, you know, everybody's repeating the same thing so much so that after a certain point, you know, there's a there's a saying i don't know the exact word but you say the same thing you repeat the same thing so many times that it becomes a truth even though if it's it's false take a look yeah this one's i don't i, I don't understand that not fake i call it in fake. this specific video no the the way uh, he or she's moving her hand in reality versus that reflection it's a little bit different right now not only the rock becomes invisible the person's hand also becomes invisible now i'm not too sure if this is real but if it is it's quite absurd yeah what is it that this rock contains or what is it that it's made of is it some sort of alien rock or maybe something that they found recently during excavations in Egypt? At the time, in 2019, I tried finding an explanation without any success. And then a couple of- I'm telling you, man, there is so much unexplored stuff on our planet. A months ago, more of these videos started showing up on the internet. And this, for example, is one of them. The clock will start turning. Oh no, it stopped. In this particular video, a man proceeds to stop a watch with the rock. And in another video with a completely different rock, a person shows how it does not appear to reflect in the mirror. In these next videos that were showing up of this bizarre pharaonic rock, other- But if these, if these rocks are so like powerful in that aspect, uh, how much they are worth? Where can, can a brother perhaps get that? Because like you gotta stock up on these rocks, man. Because eventually, they will be costing millions, man. They will be costing millions. Things yo. were shown, like wrapping the rock in paper, trying to set fire on it, and not being possible. Normally, you cannot put a fire on a stone, right? Or am I too dumb? Any, any when the paper was no note? longer wrapped around the stone, it would set fire properly and normal just like any paper would. But, but yeah, For example, the this specific should. stone didn't boil like the others did. It was either more subtle or when around light candles, it would start torching up, which is odd. Oh, snap. Not only that, it was shown that certain objects, and I'm not too sure exactly what these kind of objects are made of, but they were either attracted magnetically to it or not. That was a banana, right? Or a fruit. What? Okay, so that's gold ring. Okay, that's attracting it. Yeah, After that's going attracting viral, it. many of these videos started a discussion on the internet. Some people thought that this was completely fake. That was just a trick. For example, the water boiling. So yeah, the, okay. I, I, in, the, in the beginnings, uh, I thought the skeleton was... Uh, felt like realistic but then later on it's the the way it's moving it's fake plain as that the whole skeletonized hand gave it away the skeletonized hand was not in the same position as the real hand yeah but it could be like for me it was not that same position for me it was that he was moving his or her hand very fast and the skeleton hand was not moving as fast the speed was not matching but uh it could this i was not worried about the same position because it could have been diagonal like uh, because the camera the way it's shooting it's recording it's not straight from up to down it's diagonal if that makes sense some people believe that there's some sort of pipe blowing the steam of air or air into the water bucket However, in one or two videos, we can see the person actually meddling and moving the bucket around. In other words, there's nothing connected to it. The water is simply boiling by itself. Not only that, there are some other videos that really leaves us questioning and baffled, such as the person's hand completely disappearing, paper not catching fire, and other videos too. 
Now, when it comes good, to the explanation, I found... I would say definitely good magic, Craig, because if the skeleton one is proven to be fake, I wouldn't say it's proven 100%. What you think, though? Let me know your honest take. But if that, that is fake, then the the chance are the rest of it is fake as well. I would say good magic tricks for sure, for now, but I'm still open-minded enough to be like, okay, maybe it's real, you know? I found you similar know. videos of people testing things around this object. In this object, we can see the phrase red mercury, which could actually explain what these stones are made of. The thing is, there were many people comparing these stones with the pine cones that ancient gods held in depictions and statues. And in ancient Egypt, these pine cones were supposed to give these gods immortality or something like that. What? So whatever is going on here, the question is, did these ancient gods have access to technology that we have no idea about? And could it be that somehow... But, but listen, man, do we have videos from different people on the stones or because it felt like that it was just one person with multiple stones? Someone actually found these stones during an excavation in Egypt. What is your take? What do you really think is going on here? I I really want to know if it's like multiple people. I know when you said by that, plane, but... We usually expect the unexpected, like sometimes a plane can get delayed because of weather. Sometimes the food isn't that good. Usually there's a little bit of turbulence and the list goes on. However, it's not that common for us to be looking outside and catch something really strange going on outside the window. But this is sort of what happened with Dennis Payne, who's traveling from Calgary to Vancouver on November 2019. This is what happened. Damn. So Calgary to Vancouver, UFO, aliens, UFOs. The Martians are here. Lock yourselves in the basement. The Martians are here. Oh, what? Dennis saw what appears to be a portal of light hovering just next to his airplane. At first, he thought it was a lens flare or something like that that was reflecting on his window shield. This is when he actually realized that the object disappeared completely behind the plane's wing when hovering behind it. Meaning, oh, this is not a lens flare, it's something else. Oh, Daniel. Whoa. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Like, you see that's like sunlight air that's on the wing. Look at the wings and damn, it's there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's different, that's different. At first, internet users were confused and divided. Some thought it was just a reflection off of the plane and that David was seeing things, and others said that this is clearly not what it looks like. Is it maybe some sort of strange phenomenon that Dennis caught on camera that day? I don't know about that one, man. It's just a reflection! It's just a reflection! Thoughts, boys? Definitely crazy. However, there were many leaving comments saying that this is actually a phenomenon that occurs when there's ice crystals in the air. It's called a subsun. And if we take a look at it, it actually does look like a subsun. Mm, okay, so there is logical explanation. But a normal normal stud muffin would be confused. A normal person Here would be confused. Here is another video, for example, of what's supposed to be a subsun phenomenon caught on camera by Glad Carrot YouTube channel. It is very similar, isn't it? But I'm not too sure. What do you think? Is it a subsun? Is probably it a subsun. Ball lightning? Is it some other phenomenon? Yeah, I mean, probably a subsun. Let's be real. Something else. What's your take? Okay, these probably not subsuns. What? You, I've seen a similar video where there was only like one UFO that was caught in infrared camera and then that massive UFO started like dropping like little drops as though like the smaller UFOs were coming out of that that massive UFO. The past couple of months, many strange things have been occurring with the ocean and many strange creatures have been washing ashore too. The mm. thing is, we know very little about what really goes on deep inside our oceans. And recently, yeah. a very strange creature washed ashore at a beach in Yemen, and people were able to capture it all on camera. This is what they saw. What? That's actually massive, though. Is it one or just one thing? 
whatever this creature is, it's huge and it does not look like a whale. And at first, people were coining this a sea dragon. However, after watching this video a couple of times or maybe more, I'm pretty sure that this could be a giant squid. A very giant squid. But I'm not too sure. Researchers to this day have no answer to what the creature really is. Now taking into consideration that lately many strange creatures have been washing ashore, creatures that sometimes make no sense, such as this one that was found- Like I said man, our oceans are very much unexplored. Uh, I don't remember the actual percentage, but there was a lot, uh, actual percentage, like maybe 95 something or 70. I, I forgot the percentage, but let's be real. Like we need to explore that more. On washed ashore on March 31st, 2022 on an Australian beach by Instagram user Tanalax. Take a look. All right, I was just going for my morning walk on the beach. Yeah, man. Um, I've stumbled across something. I stumbled across my weird. Some weird this is like name. one of those things you see when people claim that they found aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When Tanalax posted this video, comments ranged from Montauk monster to opossum and other types of creatures. The thing is, to this day, no one knows. Montauk monster, it's a devil. Oh, Tasmania. Yo, what the heck is Tasmania, bro? What the heck? Bomb That's exactly God. what this is. If you pay attention to the animal's claws, it has five fingers, which doesn't make any sense at all. And I believe this is one of the reasons that this creature went viral. It doesn't make sense. What is this? We is it a genetic that, modification? Bro. And is this the case with this bizarre creature in Yemen? What is your take? What do you think this is? Yo, uh, before I give my take, I want to see the full video of that Australian homie. And have you ever seen anything like it? Nah, man, never seen. I mean, now I have. Now I have. Thanks to you, brother. In previous Thanks videos you, of mine, we've talked about skyquakes, which are strange sounds that people usually hear in the sky, or they think at least it's coming from okay, the sky. Okay. Before we get into this one, the last video, the the little creature that was spotted on the on the beach of Australia with five fingers. Why didn't we see like a full video of that? It, I feel like that might be capped. Then you know, I don't know. Thoughts. Bye. Skyquakes are supposedly an unexplained phenomenon, and to this day, a mystery surrounds it. No one knows exactly where they come from, if indeed it's from the sky, if it has anything to do with earthquakes or not. Recently in Ecuador, Damn. a very strange sound was recorded on a dash cam. Take a look. Enhanced sound. This was April 4th, 2022. As though something was moving in the wind or something? In the air? But... or underground? Whatever this strange noise is, it's not the first time that it's captured in Ecuador. This is for example another video of something similar that happened not too long ago. Similar or... It's kind of different. Fail. It feels like a plane moving. But then it doesn't feel like a plane moving. Because it's maintaining the same levels of audio. It's not moving. It's not the fading. The person in the video says that whatever this is, it sounds like a plane. But that he's been hearing this for a while now. In other words, yeah. I don't know, a plane should last only a few seconds. Yeah, exactly what I've been saying! St stud muffins think alike, stud muffins think alike. Uh, not as long as this noise lasts. The thing is, an even more bizarre noise was heard in Spain that same year. Check this out. Oh, damn. I feel like I've heard this type of noise like a couple of years. A couple of years ago, uh, I'm in Montreal, so I heard that something similar to that, <coughs> but years ago. Damn, dude. You see that door open there, it's dark inside, and you hear that sound, eee! you gotta, you gotta run. You see, like, bro, this is looking like a horror movie set right now, you know, you hear that sound, you're lonely on the road, it's kind of dark outside, and then you see a door that's kind of open, maybe closed, but looks like it's open, it's dark inside. Damn! Oh. I don't know, 
about that. To this day, two. these strange sounds are a complete mystery. Researchers believe that it could be the result of tectonic plates shocking against one another, but it's not 100% proven, so it remains a mystery. Mm, but click on this video on the screen. Subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you there.